and good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you. They're gonna have a tube. Hope you're today. Hope you're feeling grand and all is well in your world. Hello there. Extremely long intro jam today, everybody. So I do apologise uh, if if it got boring at some point. Um, but yes, really long, like twelve minutes. I, it felt like five seconds to me. I literally thought that was like maybe about three, four minutes. But good gravy, time just disappeared. Just disappeared. That's what music will do to you. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, welcome to another video, everybody. Today we are doing a shootout. Go for your guns, kid. Clint Eastwood style. Yes. Um, yes, we're doing a shootout today, everybody, between the Marshall MG, Orange CR120, and the Marshall Silver Jubilee. Uh, so basically, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play like a clean sound uh, on each amp. A semi-overdriven kind of bluesy kind of sound on each amp, and then a full-out kind of like distorted sound on a on each amp. Just very short kind of passages, kind of like you know simple chords, nothing kind of like crazy soloing or anything like that. Um, no solos at all today, actually. I've kind of, I'm trying to kind of like make a deal with myself on shootouts not to do solos because um, I don't want to. I think chords, you can hear the difference better in amps in chords. I think, especially if it's kind of like simple kind of chords, if it's just like power chords or open chords, you can kind of hear. How each amp reacts a bit easier. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So it's going to be uh, Marshall MG clean, CR120 clean, Jubilee clean, Marshall MG o uh, overdrive, CR120 overdrive, Silver Jubilee overdrive, then Marshall MG uh, distorted, Orange distorted, and uh, Silver Jubilee distorted. So pretty, pretty straightforward. And uh, as usual, uh, after you've heard, and uh, let me know in the comment section, uh, I've just ripped a scab off my hand. Ah, that stings. I burnt myself the other day, right on my knuckle. And uh, as I took my hand out of my pocket just then, I ripped the scab off, so that stings. Ooh. <sighs> I can deal with it though. No, oh, can it hurt? No, I'm joking. Anyway, moving along. Ha, yes, uh, extremely a bit hyper, but that's okay. It's the intro jam's fault. Okay, so yeah, so that's what's going to happen. Like I say, simple chords. Um, straight in, no pedals. Going to be using the, uh, the Oswald John Strat. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's turn the room mics off. Oh yeah, and by the way, I, I was about to say this before my hand got... Uh, the scab got ripped off my hand, which is disgusting. Um, let me know in the comment section below which one you preferred on each sound. Like, you know, did you prefer the Marshall MG for clean? Did you prefer the Orange for clean? Did you prefer, you know... Or did you prefer the, mark, the MG for clean, the, the Silver Jubilee for overdrive, and the Orange for distortion? Yeah. Uh, let us know in the comment section which one you preferred and why. What was it about that sound that really appealed to you? And why did you like, you know, why did that kind of like, you know, make your ears happy, so to say? So, without further ado, that's enough jibber jabber from me. Let's get into doing this. So, like I say, uh, first things first, Marshall MG, clean channel, Orange Sail 20 clean channel. Jubilee clean channel and then we'll go on from there to overdrive and then distortion. So uh, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below which one you preferred. Obviously after hearing the examples because you can't hear me before because you haven't heard it yet. Oh, not even I know yet. So anyway, I don't know about Let's just shut up, Dave. Let's just yeah, shut your mouth, Dave. Just get on with it. It's so hard for me to do that sometimes. I'm still doing it. Anyway, let's go. Marshall MG to start. Clean channel. Quickly forgot to mention one thing. There'll be no reverb used uh, either. No effects whatsoever because um, it wouldn't be fair to use reverb on the MG and the CR and the Jubilee doesn't have it. So we're not going to be using reverb. So on with the noises.
uh, there we go, everybody. So, uh, just to recap, um, Marshall MG clean, Orange clean, Jubilee clean, Marshall overdriven, Orange overdriven, Jubilee overdriven, Marshall full out distortion, Orange full out distortion, Jubilee full out distortion. All playing the same things. So, um, so yeah. Let me know in the comment section which one you preferred and why. What was it about that sound that really appealed to you? What, what was it about the clean tone, the overdrive, or distortion? Yeah, what was it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's tell you the EQ quick of what I did. Um, MG, I used the clean channel OD1 and OD2 for the sound. So, clean channel was obviously clean. Uh, and I had that set up with gain all the way up on 10. Uh, bass was all the way off. As it doesn't need bass because the cab adds plenty of that. Uh, and the clean channel on the MG is very bassy anyway. So, you know, you kind of kind of want to, if you're using the clean channel MG, the bass isn't really the best dial to kind of go for. Okay, so, uh, yeah, clean channel of game was on 10, bass was on 0, uh, middle was on 3, and treble was on 3. So that was a clean channel setting on the MG. The overdrive sounds were exactly the same as each other. So OD1 and OD2 were set the same. So it was gain all the way up. Uh, bass on zero, middle on zero, treble on zero, contour on zero, and volume all the way up. Um, yes, and I'll talk about something else in a minute. I was going to talk about it then, but that would uh, distract me, and I'm not going to do that just yet. So that's how I had the MG set up. So uh, OD1 and OD2 was the same EQ, and that's how I set up clean channel. Uh, CR120, uh, I had the clean channel set up with volume on 10. I had uh, bass at 2. And I had treble at four. So that was a clean channel. Uh, for the overdriven tone. 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 The tone. The overdriven tone. What, what was that? Anyway. Uh, for the overdriven tone. I had volume all the way up on ten. All EQ was on zero. Bass, middle and treble were all on zero. Uh, for overdrive I had the gain at six. And for four I had it on ten. Uh, so that was how I had that run. And then Jubilee wise, I used all three channels again. I used the clean channel, rhythm clip, and the lead channel. So um, clean channel I had set up with the input gain on full. Um, the volume was about two. Uh, volume was on, I'll tell you about the volume in a sec, so I want to talk about that separately. Um, so forget the volume right now, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I had treble on two, I had middle on seven, I had bass on five. And I had presence on six, so uh, so that's how I set, so that's how I set the silver jubilee up for um, for that kind of clean tone. Uh, then I went to the rhythm clip mode, so I just pulled out the uh, rhythm clip thing uh, for the overdrive. Had that on full whack again, so rhythm clip was on full whack. Presence and treble were on zero. I had mid at eight, and I had bass all the way up as well. So bass was on ten. Uh, mids was on eight, treble and presence were on zero, and then I put in the lead circuit where I had uh, everything flat out basically. Uh, the rhythm clip dial was uh, rhythm clip dial didn't really do much. It kind of ghosts, but not really. Um, not as much as it does. Yeah, that's, it's not important right now. Rhythm clip was on. Uh, no, sorry, lead channel was lead master was on ten, so fully distorted. Uh, treble and presence were on zero again. I had bass on eight, and I had middle all the way up on ten. So, uh, so yeah, that's how I had the amps set up. I will say, out the load of these three amps, the orange was the quietest. The MG and the Jubilee were near enough on par, with the MG coming out a tiny bit louder, which is a bit weird, but the MG was slightly louder than the, than the Silver Jubilee. It's minute, kind of like the difference between, but it, it, it was there. I could feel it in the room that the MG was louder. I had to turn it down a lot further because I ran the I ran the entire video, um, I ran the entire clips on the MG with it just below one, where uh, sorry just below two sorry. Uh, whereas with the Jubilee, I ran everything on two uh, to get the same kind of like volume levels. So it's so it's like it's minuscule, but it's there. And the CR120, I had to run on two uh, on a two and a half, so it was near enough three uh, to get it to the kind of same volume that these were. But so. Yeah, for what that you know, for what that is. But the, I've always found the CL120 to be quite a quiet amp anyway. It's not a really, really, really loud amplifier. Um, so yeah, there we go, everybody. Uh, yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below which one you preferred and why. What was it again about that sound? Was it the MG? Was it the CR? Was it the uh, Silver Jubilee? Which one was it, and why 
did you prefer that sound over the others? You know, what, what was it about it? Okay, so, um, so yeah, there we go, everybody. Um, it's about as scientific as, um, as nothing, really. But, you know, it's, it's all in the ears. It's like, what can you hear? You know, and I say, we're all, we're mic'd up today on there. Uh, everything was going through the same cab. JCM 900 cab, bottom left speaker down there, mic'd with an SM57. It's the sound we've all heard on rock records since forever. So, you know, it, it's just like the classic sound, the mic, especially kind of like, it's about, it's about a centimetre off the grill cloth as well, the mic is. I don't like, I don't like it on the grill cloth. I, I think it sounds a bit gnarly at that point. So uh, the mic's a little bit back and that's what we're using. Other than that, that's, that's the lot. No pedals, no nothing, no reverb. Just uh, because, as like I say, the Jubilee doesn't have built-in reverb and I thought it'd be a bit unfair on it if we used reverb on these two amps. You know, it, it just it doesn't seem fair to me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I say, let me know which one you preferred in the comment section below and I will see you again on Monday for another video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend and I will see you again. Happy guitar playing! And I expect there'll be plenty of it over the weekend. Ha <laughs> ha! So, uh, yes, have a great one. Have a great morning, afternoon, and good evening. Goodbye now, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this vid. Goodbye now.